So this is Go Code. In this video, we're gonna see the approach to solve a code shelf January challenge problem named yet another problem about sequence. In this problem, we have to find a integer sequence of length n such that these four conditions must satisfy by the sequence. The first condition says that all the elements of the sequence must be in between 1 to the 10 to the power 9 and all the elements of the sequence are pairwise distinct and the third condition says that the GCD of every adjacent element must be greater than 1 that is they must not be co-prime and the fourth condition says that every contiguous three elements must be a co-prime that is the GCD of these three elements must be equal to 1. So let's see how we can solve this problem. So let's suppose the first two elements of the sequence are A and B. As the condition 3 says that the GCD of adjacent element must not be equal to 1. But it is possible that A and B have GCD 1 when they are prime numbers or one is even number and another is odd number. To ensure that the GCD of these two numbers A and B is greater than 1, we have to multiply a number A and B by a same number. So let's we multiply A by Y and B by Y. Now the GCD of these two element is at least Y. Now let the third element is Z. Now to satisfying the condition third, we have to multiply this Z with either B or by Y. So let's see what happens if we multiply Z by Y. In this situation, the GCD of these two elements is greater than 1 that is Y but the GCD of these three elements is also greater than 1 which is Y. So it violates the condition 4. So we cannot multiply Z by Y. So the only option left is to multiply Z by B. Now the condition third is satisfying because the GCD of these two elements is B and the GCD of these three elements is 1 because there is nothing common in between all three. Now let the fourth element is C. Now we have to multiply C with either B or Z to satisfying the condition third. But we cannot multiply C with B. If we multiply C with B then the GCD of these three elements will become B and it's violate the condition 4. So the only option remains is to multiply C with Z. Now let the fifth element is Y. Now we have to multiply this Y by C because we cannot multiply this Y by Z. Now let the sixth element is D. Now we have to multiply this D by Y to satisfying the condition third. Now let the seventh element is Z. Now we have to multiply this Z with D for satisfying the condition third. Now let the eighth element is E. Now we have to multiply this E by Z. So in this manner we can find the further elements. Now as you can see these elements are satisfying both condition 3 and 4 to ensure that the GCD of every two adjacent element is the common element. We have to use the prime numbers as B and C so that the GCD will become equal to Z because the GCD of prime number is always 1. But now our last task is that the first and the last element also satisfies the condition third. But in this case this last element and this first element is not satisfying third condition. So we have to do something. To do so we have to add extra element in the beginning and then add extra element in the end so that the condition 3 satisfies. So the element in the beginning of a sequence must contain A or Y. Can it contain Y? No. Because if it contain Y then the GCD of first three element will become Y which is greater than 1. So the first element must contain A and a number phi. Since we want that the GCD of last element the first element must be greater than 1. So the last element must contain either a or phi. But can last element contain a? No. Because if it contain a then the last element and the first two element 
then the GCD of these three elements will become A. So it violates the condition fourth. So the only option left is to use phi as a last element. And we want that the second last element this and the last element this. The GCD of these two must be greater than one. So we have to multiply the last element with either E or Z. But we cannot multiply phi by Z because it violates the condition fourth. So we have to multiply the last element by E. So this is how we can find the sequence of any length. First we have to find elements of a sequence from 2 to n minus 1. Then we add extra element in the beginning and add extra element in the end. So that whole sequence satisfying the all conditions. So let's take an example for n equal 7. Length the value of a for the second element is 7 and the value of y is 2. For third element the value of y is 2 and the value of b is 11 and the value of b for fourth element is 11 and the value of z for the fourth element is 3. The value of z for the fifth element is 3 and the value of fifth element of c is the next prime number which is 13 and the value of c for sixth value is 13 and the value of y is 2. The value of d for the seventh number is the next prime number which is 17 and the value of y is 2. Since we only want 7 element so we do not want this element at 7th position. So let's remove this. So now time to add two elements one in the beginning and one in the end of the sequence. Since the first element contain a and the value of a here is 7. Let the value of phi is 5. So the value of phi for the seventh element is also 5 and the next value of the seventh element is 2. So this is the sequence for n equal 7. So this is how we can solve this problem. The implementation part is given in the description. So let's stop here and we will meet in next video.